why you don't like me. I've never done anything to you or anyone around here. Tony keeping you busy repairing all those trucks for hauling his root beer? I don't know what you're talking about, shut up. Things are getting out of hand around here, son. All of this trouble is not worth it. Hey, that's hey, not very smart! Don't you do this, out, Dick! Watch your words. We got a warrant for this place. Uh, search it for what? Bras and panties. Alright, enough is enough. Shut up. And what if they don't want to pay? You persuade them to pay stuff. I better go in and take a look. Alright, that's enough, everybody on the floor! Oh, she just up. getting a little ridiculous. Shut up over there! Something is just fishy about you, and I'm going to find out what it is. I think I'll stay a little <laughs> while longer, Lucy. Thanks. I wouldn't count on that, Sheriff. His operations and friends are bigger than you think. Everybody got their price. Say what, Sheriff? Well, we gotta ask Tony and his boys not to mess with Sean Bowley and his boys. We don't want no gang war here, Blue uh, I don't want anybody fighting, Sheriff. Well, it's official. Sean Bowley's setting up shop. His boys are coming down from Chicago. I just saw two more cars filling their plates today. Well, what are we gonna do now? I know! Let's go to Lucy's! I'm hungry! Not now, Blue Balls. I'll call the governor, I'll tell him what's going on, see if we can't get a few more marshals sent down from Carson City. That might slow things down a little bit, so we can arrest either Tony or Stromboli. We don't have the manpower to stop a mob war right now. I think, uh, Tony would be easier. I wouldn't count on that, Sheriff. His operations and friends are bigger than you think. 
I mean, you've been trying to nail him for over a year. You can't even get him for a parking ticket. Sooner or later, JD, he's going to slip up. Well, it looks like you're out of time, Sheriff. I've known Mama and her late husband Sal for a long time. Same as you. We always tried to bust him back in the old days. Never could. And I guarantee you they taught Tony everything they knew. Tony isn't as smart as Sal was. And Mama is getting older. Sooner or later they'll mess up. And then we'll get them. Well, hopefully with Jake down and undercover over here and Tootsie over at Tony's place, we can bust him soon. Hopefully, Tootsie will find some root beer so we can raid the place. Put him behind bars where he belongs. That's what I'm hoping for, JD. I'm going to be putting the heat on Lisa down at the big crack. Either Strambo or Tony up there hooking her for selling root beer. When did they get hooked, Sheriff? I swear, Blue Balls, I swear. Now grab your coat, we're going down to Lucy's. And then you're going to have to come back and work here tonight. My wife's got me a big old list of honeydews. Oh, Sheriff, I don't want to be here by myself at night. It's spooky. Old man Crowfoot's ghost will hunt me again. There are no such things as ghosts. Now grab your coat, let's go. JD, you want to come with us? Not tonight, boys. I'm going to go out on the town and take a look around, see what's going down. Okay, well, as soon as you find out something, let me know. All right, look, fellas, Strombo is going to try and take us over. Everybody knows that. So we got to gear up for battle. So what do you want to do, boss? Got a plan. You know how Madame Lisa won't buy root beer from us? Yeah, what about it? Well, here's the deal. You and Grosso go out to the big crack and plant root beer all over it. Then the sheriff's going to get a call. that Strombo just dropped off a load of root beer. Both get busted at the same time. Why do we want Madame Lisa busted? I like that place. Yeah, I like going out there too, boss. He'll serve her right for not buying root beer from us. Plus, letting Stromboli and his goons hang out out there? In the meantime, I got Benny the Bat and his guys from Chicago coming out to help us until we figure out what Stromboli's up to. Good. We're going to need them. Things could get ugly real fast. Is he bringing a shipment with him? He is, but I still need you and Grasso to go to Indian Springs before the weekend to pick up a load. Okay, boss, but where are we going to put it? The pink whistle is full. Mrs. Putz is seller again. We gotta keep these knucklehead cops running around in circles. <laughs> that won't be hard to do. Yeah, but we gotta watch that JD. He's crafty. I'm not worried about any of them boys. None of them too smart. We better worry about Stromboli and what his move's gonna be. And get a hold of Max. And make sure he has those trucks ready by this weekend. And I see this as an ample opportunity for us to make some extra cash. <laughs> How's that? Townsfolk. They're all real nervous with Stromboli in town, right? Well, all we gotta do is go around to the businesses, offer them our protection, they're gonna have to pay us for it. And what if they don't wanna pay? <laughs> you persuade them to pay, Stubbs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the antique shop and the grocery store. I'll go to the Goldfield Hotel. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Some boys staying out there. You go to the other businesses. Okay. Okay, Grasso, let's go. Hey, Jay, you about ready? Yeah, let me finish my drink. Cigar, cigarette? We were dead tonight. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Not too many people have been out and about since Stromboli came to town. I don't like it. I have a terrible feeling about you two. Nah, you worry too much. Hey, Tootsie, come here for a sec, will you? Sure, Tony. What can I do for you? I'm going to close up early tonight. Will you help me clean this place up? Oh, thank God. My feet are killing me. <laughs> you did good tonight, Tootsie. Okay. I don't like her. I don't trust her at all. Something isn't right. She's always sneaking around. She's all right, kid. I wouldn't trust her if I were you, Tony. Ah. All right, everybody, drink up. We're closing up shop early tonight. I'll be right back. I'm going to go lock up the office, okay? So, what were you talking to Tony about? How I don't trust you and how you're up is no good. Oh, Jay. I don't know 
why you don't like me. I've never done anything to you or anyone around here. I think I know you're up to good. Okay. Something is just fishy about you, and I'm going to find out what it is. Don't you be giving me any trouble. In fact, if I were you, put my nose out of places it doesn't belong. And leave me alone. Oh, but it is my business. Tony's going to see that you're nothing but trouble, so watch your back. Doing just fine, Miss Lucy. I'm hungry, Lucy. <laughs> we'll sit with you down on the bike. Any specials tonight, Lucy? We have pork chops with corn and mashed potatoes. Mmm. I'll take a look at the menu. And for you, Blue Balls? Oh, Lucy. I'll have a big cheeseburger with chips and a big fountain drink. That sounds good. Make it two. All right. I'll have that right out for you guys. Hey, Max. Tony keeping you busy repairing all those trucks for hauling his root beer? I don't know what you're talking about, Sheriff. I use those trucks to haul furniture for his moving business. I know what you're really using those trucks for. You ain't fooling me. Evening, officers. How's it going? I'm good, Jake. Just real hungry. I'm doing good, too. How are things down at the Coleman farm? Oh, they're good, Sheriff. It's looking real nice out there. It's going to be a great place to raise my llamas. Can you ride them, Jake? No, blue balls. You use llamas for packing. Oh. Well, I read in a book that people in Egypt ride them. No, no the, those are camels. Blue balls, I swear. Oh, Lucy, that's the biggest cheeseburger I ever saw. Lucy, can I get some more coffee? Sure, Max. I'll be right there. You down and sit where you like. Thank you, we will. Hello, the Sheriff. Sure it isn't quiet in here. That's because nobody here likes your company, Stramboli. That's because nobody knows me, the Sheriff. I come here to open up a business and make it a money. I know why you're really here, and you won't be here very long. Oh, you got it all around, the Sheriff. I'm not a going anywhere. I like it here. Lucy, give me a to-go box. I've lost my appetite. Me too. I want to go. Blue balls. You're not a going because of me, are you? Yes, I am. Y y you make me nervous. I thought we could be a friends. I have enough friends. Nobody here likes you, Stramboli. Or your thugs. There have been a lot of strange cars driving by here lately. Probably strong boys, guys. Things are getting out of hand around here, son. All of this trouble is not worth it. I wish you could take a vacation. I, I don't want anything to happen to you. No way, Mama. Things are going to be just fine. I got some things in motion that's going to get rid of old strong boys. Yeah. I remember him from when me and your dad lived in Chicago. He was a younger then, but he was a ruthless. He would cut to his own brother's throat to get to the top. I'm not saying he isn't dangerous. But trust me when I say he's not going to be around here much longer. And that that a thug he has with him. Yeah, who is that guy? Uh, his name is Dago Joe. He was a hit -a man back in the day. I never met anyone so evil and rotten. Maybe I'll have Cross will come out here and stay with you for a few days. Just tell things calm down. No, 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 no. I don't want any company. Just for a while, Mama. That's not an option. Yeah, I guess you are right, son. 
I'm going to have the guys go down to Indian Springs later this week to pick up a load. Have some cakes ready for them so I can send them with Grasso. Okay, they will be ready. Let me use your phone. I need to call Grasso. Then I gotta go. Me and Jay's going to Lucy's Cafe for dinner tonight. You think it's a good idea dating that the girl? Well, yeah, I'm kind of fond of her, Mama. No. Yeah, I think she is bad news. <laughs> you think every girl I date's bad news, Mama? And haven't I been right? Yeah, but Jay's different. Give her a chance. Yeah. yeah. Some day you're gonna listen to me. <laughs> Oh, before I forget, what date is Benny the Bat going to be here? He'll be here before the week's over, and I'll be glad to see him. Me too. I have been friends with his family since before me and your father got together. At least that you will have some help here with Mr. Oli. Yeah, Benny's been a good pal. I got some of my guys coming out from New York too to help out. Things are going to be fine, Mommy. You'll see. I can't help but worry. You're all I have left. I don't know how I couldn't handle it if something happened to you. It'll be fine, Mama. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I got to get to going, so go get those cakes for me, will you? I'll take them to Lucy's. Hey, Maxie boy. Hey, Lucy. How you doing, Jake? Boy, Tony. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> glad to see you too, Maxie. Go ahead and sit where you guys would like. I'm glad you're here. Thanks, Lucy. Look who's blessing us with their company tonight. Twiddle D and Twiddle Dum. I think they'll <laughs> stay a little while longer, Lucy. Thanks. I'm getting nervous. You know, I've been thinking about opening up my own lounge. Then you can come work for me, Miss Delato. Never work for a dirtbag like you. <laughs> You're gonna need a job, but when the Tony's lounge closes because he got no business, and everybody got their price. Pay a big one if you don't watch his step in here tonight. Hey, Mr. 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 You better listen to your woman. Okay, Jay. We can go. Before I forget, go out and get those cakes. We don't want to forget them. Please don't do anything. Let's just get out of here. I'm not going to. Don't worry about it. Let's go get those cakes. I tell you goombas one time. Get your asses out of my town back to Chicago. If you don't, I'm going to cut you both like fishes. You should really watch you that come in. I came here to open a new business, making friends. Coffee, and boys? Yes, please. This is a little weak. That's all we had. Help of the peoples here. I don't like it here. I don't like it, these small town people. We need this town and the peoples. If we's gonna take over the root beer business on the west coast, we need this town. It's the gateway to everything. Boss, let's do what we came here to do, huh? Let me kill Tony Five Fingers and his goons, and then we strike at the fear of God into these Gantadini, and then we go home. Have a patience, Paisana. We have to do it the right way so the feds don't know what we're doing. Boss. Let's a kill Tony Five Fingers. Let me get that around the bastard, and then we have a no problem whatsoever. I have a plan for Tony Five Fingers and the his guys. And the his mama. 
Don't worry, you'll get your chance, me fatalo. Olio tagliali il securo. Lo vivara in tempo. Domani no abbastanza presto. Voglio che il suo sangue, ma abbiamo io sempre. Ripaziente. Nice work if you can get it, you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone you can know. Nice work if you can get it. Oh no! Hope that crazy old ghost isn't back to haunt me! <laughs> Sheriff's office, Deputy Blue Ball speaking. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? I, I can't hear you. I guess nobody wanted to talk to me. Blue Balls! Who is it? It's me, Blue Balls. Old Man Crowfoot. What do you want? Beware! Beware! In danger. Leave me alone, you, you crazy old ghost! Blue balls. Leave me alone! You've been warned. Beware. Madam Lisa, it would benefit you as much as it would us if you'd sell some root beer out here. No, Stubbs. I don't need the sheriff and the U.S. Marshals breathing down my back. They're already on me. No, we'd make it so they would never find out. And we'd bring you some more customers out here. Oh, 
Hi, I'm Sally B. Easy. How can I help you? Hey, I'm Trevor from Denver. I'm looking for Madam Lisa. I'll let her know you're here. Thanks. Tony says he'll give you a special price. I didn't buy the big crack from Mama just to get it shut down. Sorry, Miss Lisa, but there's a gentleman here to see you, and he says he's from Denver. Okay, Sally, will you tell him I'll be right there? We'll finish this in a second. Okay, Lisa. Hey, Stubbs, how are you? I'm fine, Sally. How are you doing? You coming to see me later? Oh, I'll come up in a while. Okay, Grasso, when Miss Lisa gets back, you tell her you want to go find a girl. You go get some root beer, you come back, you plant a case behind the bar, and put bottles in some rooms. Hello, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my big crack. Hey Lisa, I'm Trevor O'Connor from Denver. I do a radio show called Unfiltered and Unaffected. Huh. Huh. Well, I've heard some big things about Madam Lisa and her big crack. Oh, of course. I want to do a story about the place. Sorry, we don't really do that sort of thing here. Okay. Keep her here for a while so she doesn't see me. I will. You just to hurry as fast as you can and make sure not anyone sees you. Okay, boys. Where were we? I know where I'm going. I'm going to find myself a wife for the night. <laughs> okay, Grasso. I have some girls available. Just go on upstairs and have fun. Okay, Grasso. You meet me at Tony's place in the morning. Okay, Stubbs. Okay, Miss Elisa, there's something else that we need to talk about. I'm not doing the root beer. No, it's something else. You know how Stromboli is here and he's trying to take over everyone's business? Well, he hasn't tried here. No, not yet, but he will. And Tony says he'll give you the protection you need in case he tries and to keep his goons from coming out here and making trouble. Mm, and how will he do that? Oh, we'll put a couple of guys close by and make our presence felt. Make sure nothing happens to you. And what does Tony want in return? Uh, just enough to pay some guys to stick it by close. Doesn't sound too bad, but how much? I don't know. You'll have to talk to Tony about that. All right, I'll talk to him about it. But for now, enough business. Sally B. Easy's waiting for you, and I've got other stuff to do. Okay, Lisa. Thank you for your time. Okay, I win. Ow, oh, I'm I counted three new cars in town today. All with Illinois license plates. Yeah, Strumbo, these guys are moving in pretty fast. Well, that means we better figure out something. Things were getting out of hand down at Lucy's. Tony Stromboli got into it and... <laughs> I know they're gonna both be out for blood now. Have you heard from the governor, J.D.? Yeah, he said he'd be down in a few days with a few state police. Apparently, he doesn't think things are too serious down here yet. That's horseshit! What do you mean he doesn't think things are serious yet? The governor's coming here? Oh boy! We blue balls! Blue balls. Oh boy, the governor! Blue balls! Maybe we should have a parade for him! Calm down, blue balls! Blue balls, calm down and wait a second! What all did he say, JD? Uh, just that he'll be down in a few days with a few state police to check things out. Wait, so we ain't getting no marshals? Nope. But once the dumb son of a bitch comes down and he sees what's going on, he'll change his mind, I promise you that. Same noise. 
Go check it out. Sheriff's office, Sheriff Barnett speaking. Are you sure? You better be, because if you're not, this could blow the whole thing for us. Okay, all right, we'll be down there. What's going on? That was Tootsie. Tony just got a shipment of root beer down in the saloon. Some guy named Benny the Bat brought it in from Chicago. Benny the Bat? Are you sure she said Benny the Bat? That's what she said. Is he a... Baseball player? No, he ain't no baseball player, Blue Balls. He's a gang member from Chicago. <laughs> a stone cold killer. Oh. Well, then I don't want to meet him. I think I remember him. Yeah, it was just when I was transferring out. He started taking over for his pops. He's pretty famous for using that bat of his. And he's friends with Tony? I told you. Tony has friends all over. He's got connections out in New York, too. If he calls them out here, we're, now we're gonna be in huge trouble. We're not gonna be able to stop all of it. It's not gonna happen here today, boys. We're gonna go down there and bust him and his goon friends and throw them all in jail. And then our problem is solved. You know Jake can't go. Uh, we'll blow his cover. You sure you wanna do this right now with just three guys? It's our only chance to stop all of this. Do I get to go, Sheriff? Yeah. God help us, you can go. Do I get to take my gun, Sheriff? Yes, you can take your little red rider. Just don't shoot your eye out. Oh boy, Sheriff! Ready to go, Jake? Yeah, I reckon so. Let's get this over with. Y'all better be careful. I won't be far, I'll be down at Lucy's. You sure do spend a lot of time down there, boy. She has good food. I think he's in love. Chicago. 
put a lot of my pals in the slammer. He's a real hard ass. A son or two, I think his name is Jake. He became a marshal too. Wait a minute. Did you say Jake? Yeah. There's a guy that just moved to town here not long ago named Jake. What's he look like? He's young, man. That's all I can remember. He's young. I'll show you this guy tomorrow. See if you recognize him or not. Oh, I'll never forget a marshal's face. Tell me about this big crack. <laughs> A big crack. He named Madame Lisa moved to town not too long ago. Mama sold it to her. She opened it up and it's a brothel. Oh. Looks like you'll know where to find me when you need me. <laughs> Blue Balls, where's your gun? Uh, left it in the car. Okay, everybody, put your glasses down and get up against the wall. What the hell is this, Sheriff? This is a raid, Tony. Get your asses up against the wall. Now! Shipping a root beer in here. You're such a goomba, Sheriff. Ain't no root beer here. I told you that. Have you got a warrant? Right here, Tony. Hey, now guy? get your ass against the wall. Hey, who is this guy? This is our sheriff. The guy behind you. That blue balls. You know this guy. JD, long time no see. Hey, Benny. Looks like I finally get to arrest you, like I did your pops. You ain't arrest no one. I'm here for Madame Lisa's big crack. Doesn't your mother work there? Your mama. Check those glasses. I want to know what's in them. Orange. And in that one? Uh, whiskey. I'm a lime. I told you, Sarah. There's no root beer here. That's a nice Blue balls, I've searched the place. Find that root beer. Okay, Sheriff. Sure. here from Chicago. He's going to be staying for a while. Well, nice to meet you, Benny. Welcome to Goldfield. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, too. Say, uh, Lucy, have you seen Jacob this morning? No, I haven't. Why? If you see him, you tell him I'm looking for him, okay? Is this about last night? Is Tony mad at him? Oh, no, no. It's, uh, it's about some llamas. We know that he's got a couple, and we're thinking about getting a few. So you tell him I'm looking for him, okay? 
any stuff, when I see them, I'll let you know. Bar Lizzie, how are you doing today? Hi, Jake. Stubbs and his boys are here to talk to you about llamas. Hey there, Jacob, my boy. We got a couple of questions for you. Come over here. Ken, I just stopped in for some coffee to go. I'm on my way to Round Mountain to get some feed for my animals. Yeah, that's okay. We'll catch up with you later. But first, I want to introduce you to my friend, Benny. Did you see old man Crowfoot? I saw him here. Worse, I saw Benny the Bat. He recognized me. What, what, what are we going to do? Are you sure, boy? Yeah, I'm sure. He was there with Stubbs. Benny would not leave me alone. They know. Damn it! Now what are we going to do? Uh, your cover's blown. I'm sure the whole town knows. No! We're not going to do a thing. I'm glad they know. You're a U.S. Marshal. They can't do a thing to you. They're going to think we got more people under cover. So eventually, they'll mess up. We'll be there for them. I like where you're going with this, Sheriff. I'm confused. Blue Balls, you're fired. Sheriff, do I have permission to fire Blue Balls? In the nuts. Come in. Come and have a seat. I'm going to ask you some questions. And I already know the answers to them. So I'm going to know if you're lying to me. You working for the sheriff undercover? What? Don't lie to me. What are you talking about? I set you up. That's why we got raided yesterday. I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you working for the sheriff? <laughs> yes. Yes, but Tony is making me. Making What do you mean, making you? <laughs> my brother's in jail, my younger brother. And he said that, that, that if I helped him bust you, that he'd get him out. He's innocent, Tony. He's innocent. I see. Looks like I got a couple options here. One, I can take you on a one-way trip to the desert, show you what the bottom of an old mine shaft looks like. No, or... no, don't do anything but that, not that. No, he, he forced me. I didn't want him to, but he did. He forced me, and I, I can't. Or two, you can help me do something. I think I'll do anything. Make a call to the sheriff. Tell me you overheard a conversation. You heard the strong boy just dropped off a load of root beer out of Lisa's big crack. I'll do it. I'll do it. Do it right away. Strong boy's out there now. Yes. Come in. Tony, we need to talk. This is important. All right, but first, Grasso, take Tootsie out to the lounge and watch her make a phone call. Okay, boss. Come on, Tootsie. Tootsie, one more thing. If you ever cross me again, you're going to see what the bottom of that mine shaft looks like. Come see me later. We'll get your brother out. I know a judge owes me a favor. Oh my god, really, Tony? I'll owe you for the rest of my Don't life. Don't worry about it. Just go make that phone call. I, I see, see Jake today. That's JD's son. He's a marshal. Box me a pistolino. I wonder how many more marshals are out there undercover. I don't know, but we better watch our step and trust no one. You got that right. Trouble with Stromboli, so now the feds, what's next? Her troubles with Stromboli might be over. Did you and Grasso go out to the big crack and plant that root beer? Oh yeah, Grasso put it everywhere. Good, because they're now. So that should be the end of old Stromboli. <laughs> Good.
Then his guys go back to Chicago and they won't want to fight with Adam. Do you like it, Tony? It's my latest invention. It's a machine where you can store cash and then retrieve it later at your convenience. I named it after my father, Angus Thomas Mackenzie. May he rest in peace. On your inventions. It's never gonna catch you. You fat dago bastard. We should have make him leave. Take it easy. Just want to see what kind of place you run in here. You <laughs> still don't let animals come in here? You promise not to pee on the floor? No, well, it's a stay. <laughs> One drink. Now. Tamara, get this guy a drink. Maybe they dance it for me. Or that was a snap in that recording. Way too smart, are you, Joe? You're looking for trouble. You're in the right place. You guys don't use your manners. Let me walk it out of here. Tie him up, gag him, and throw him in the basement. We'll figure out to do it him later. I know these guys just caused us a lot of headache. Yeah, I think it would work out. That'd be good, right? Yeah. Well, good evening, Sheriff. What brings you here? Does your wife know you is out of here, Sheriff? We got a warrant for this place. Uh, Searcher for what? Bras and panties? We got Tip Stramboli just a case of root beer here today. That's a crazy. We was just a talking about opening up a hotel business together. And what? Did the sheriff make you a deputy, Jake? No, Miss Lisa. I'm a marshal. I have been for some time now. Oh, oh that's a very sneaky sheriff. Good -a move, -a, good -a move. -a. Well, you guys have a fun. I got a business waiting for me in the town. You ain't going anywhere until we tell you to. Looks like we found your stash, Miss Lisa. Right here behind the bar. Impossible. I don't sell that stuff here. You're trying to set me up. That ain't mine, I swear. That's what they all say. All right, you two. Get up. You're under arrest. That's a crazy. That's not a mine and you can't approve it that it is. Uh. I have a witness that will testify, Stramboli, saying that they saw you deliver it here. That's a crazy. That won't keep me in jail. I'll be out before the morning. Put him in the car, Jake. You heard him, you two. Let's go. Move it. Figlio di putana. This won't keep me in the jail. I'd be out before the breakfast. Please believe me, Sheriff. I swear that's not mine. That's what they all say. Take him away.
You're gonna tell me that it's not yours? That's not ours? You put it there. No, you're trying to set you me up. I know you were trying to get it. Alright, enough is enough. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, I'm taking you to the cell. Uh, please don't, I'm innocent. Tell I didn't the do judge, this. move it. My lawyer will be calling any minute to now. I'd be out before the morning. I don't care if you get out now or in 10 years. As long as you're in my town, I'm gonna keep finding reasons to arrest you. Maybe it's time for a new sheriff for now. You're a scumbag, Stromboli. I know who you are, I know what you do, and you're not doing it here. I'm the only sheriff in this town, and you've worn out your welcome. Don't you threaten me, Barnetta. You just a bugger to me. A pesky gnat. I swat you like a fly. And don't you forget it. Get him out of here. Throw him in the jail cell with all the other dirty rats. What is it? Me and Blue Balls were sitting at my cafe drinking coffee and two, two men in suits came in, pulled out guns, they took them all off. They took them away. Oh my God. Did you call it the sheriff? I tried. I, he didn't answer. What are we going to do, Mama? I don't know, Lucy. This is a bad, a very bad. I will go get to Tony. He will have a plan. Me too, Lucy. I am very worried. I know it was Stromboli's guys, and they don't fool around. We have to find this back before it's too late. But why would they capture blue balls? What would they want with him? I don't know, Mama. Ever since Stromboli and Diego Joe came oh. If Sal was still alive, things would have never gotten this bad. He would have gotten Stromboli a long time ago. What is Stromboli doing here anyway, Mama? Don't you know a Lucy? He's here to settle a score. You know him? Yeah, from a long, long time ago. Keep trying to call it the sheriff. If Tony comes in, tell him what has happened. Tamara, go to the cafe with Lucy. Oh, I'll go with Lucy. Okay, Mama. Yeah, I can't believe John Bowley's guys watching this guy, man. I've been around this town already. There's some pretty hot dames oh, walking around, man. you know? 
I seen this one down at the coffee shop. Boy, she just getting a little ridiculous. Shut up over there! Now I'm tired of hearing you. Shut up! Do you want me to gag him? No. So anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted by this guy, you know, I'm walking Ready? around the thing heard that was I'm just... Hungry. Hey, listen, shut your mouth over there. He said shut up, now shut up. Do you want me to gag him? Nah, we're okay, I'll take care of it. Shut up. Not for a while. That's even if I decide to let you eat. Why wouldn't you let me eat? I'm hungry. If you don't shut up, I'm not gonna let you now shut up! Do you want me to get it? Do you want no, me to get it? No. Listen, so I'm telling you, you know, it's not a bad gig. We're getting paid a lot of money to come out here and get this done for Strom Holy, oh my goodness, this guy, I tell I you right said now! Shut up! You said stop singing! No, I said shut up! No. I told you to shut up. That means no whistling, no singing, no talking. Don't make a sound! Jeez, you don't have to be so mean. And why am I here anyway? Hey, forget about it. You're here because you're supposed to be here. Now shut your mouth before I come over there and shut it for you. So I have to be. Oh my goodness. For the love of God, I can't watch this guy no more. I'm gonna show him. Yeah. Hey. You know, we got to keep him around. Strombo, he says he's important for some reason. So he's important, we keep him around. Do you want me to gag him? No. I have to pee. Go get him some food. Yes, I'll take him to the bathroom. Yeah. Then I'll gag him. You don't have a toilet? No, no pee in. That's it? Good lord. Nice work if you can get it. And you can get it if you try. Do you believe in ghosts? What are you talking about? I have a ghost named Old Man Crowfoot haunting me. Man, you so weird crazy. I remember finished. Nice work if you can get it. And you can get it if you try. Man, I wish we could get some Wi-Fi up in here. Right? Wait. What? Oh, don't worry about it. They don't come out with it for another 50 years or so. Jake! Get that son of a bitch out of here! Get him out of here right now! No, calm down, Sheriff. What's going on? Two of his thugs went to Lucy's and kidnapped Blue Balls. And I know he knows where they are. Get that son of a bitch out of here. I, I, I can't, Sheriff. He just bailed out just a minute ago. Why did you let him go? We had to, Sheriff. It was legal. We're gonna tear this town apart. We're gonna find him. That son of a bitch! Last night. Oh my god, we have to do something. We need to get to some other humpers! Yeah. Oh, Everybody just calm down for a second, let me think. Got an idea. Tootsie, go call Mama, tell her to get over here fast. Stuff, you go get Grasso, get your butt back here. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I'm gonna go get Sally B before we go. Then you better go do it. He's gonna get back. What's going to happen? I'm gonna go get Blue Ball. What do you want me to do, Tony? Maxie, I want you to stay back here and watch over the girls. Right. Now protect them with me, life. Better, because you 
might have to, might come to that. I don't like this, Tony. Well, let's do it to it, see. Red, let's get going. Hands away! Where's my hat? I left it at your sister's house. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't worry about your hat. Where's Blue Ball? Look in your mouth. Let me ask you one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, cut you, you like a fish. Oh, yeah, you better kill me. I'm gonna cut you. Where's Blue Ball? I don't know. It's your last chance, Blue Ball. Where's Blue Ball? I said I don't know. Ask your mother. All right. I'm gonna cut you. I'm not gonna feed you to my dog. All right. All right. Oh, shit. I don't think they're gonna talk, fellas. I'll get them to talk with a bat. Gross, we can put bags in there. Shut these guys up. That should keep the hot air from leaking out. Anybody that's ever been tied to a chair knows. Bag over your head, you better not talk. You save your breath. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's your hat, Joey. Joey. <laughs> I want to get him with the bat. Who uses the gun? It's quick and easy. That's pretty messy. The gun's too loud. The bat's messy. Gross, so what do you think? I say we douse him in gasoline and burn the bastards. Jesus, what's the <laughs> matter with you? <laughs> we used the bat last time. I say we knife him. Ah, knife's too 1940. What are you talking about? It's only 1941. Huh. Bat, wait for me. All right, one down, two to go. I'm only gonna ask you one time. Where's Blue Balls? I'm gonna cut you, ear to ear. Where's Blue Balls? Ask me your mother. Steve, where's the mama's pants? What is it, jackass? <laughs> I'm not saving nothing. Is that all you got? <laughs> Where's blue balls? Strong stuff. Mm. Sucks to be you right now, Joey. Ah, uh, <laughs> Is that? Yeah, how do you like that? Oh, my God. I thought you were tougher than that, Joey. I thought you were tougher than that. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where's blue balls? I'm gonna say nothing. I Died just like your friends did. How do you like me now, Joey? Get on the butt! No, no. I got a lot more, and you're gonna like it. Just like that. Where's Blue Balls? Look at me! I'm not talking to you. Where's Blue Balls? Where is he? Mama said this! Alright. Yeah. Today's your lucky day, Joey. Today's your lucky day. You go home and cry to your mom and mom. Get out of my ear. Get out of here before I decide to get going. Move it. Get out of the way. Take your friend with you. Cheer it out, Dad. Get going. Hop away. Straight over to Stromboli's place. Told you, boy. Where's he at? Off of Fifth and Crook Street, over by the Goldfield Hotel. What all did you see? Well, there's a couple of cars out front, and I peeked in the windows, and I see at least ten guys in there with Stromboli. All right. Let's go get blue balls and get rid of this piece of poo-poo. No, it's too dangerous. These are guys who will let you up and spit out 
the sheriff and the marshal's jail. If, if it wasn't for them, my cell would still be alive. That to call the night. He went into the pink whistle to warm up. When he was walking home, someone shot at him in the back. We think that it was Dago Joe, but we never could prove it. Those are guys are, are brutal. They mean the business. Let's go get them. I don't want anything to happen to you, Stubbs. Oh, we'll be okay, Naomi. You don't worry. Mama's right, Jake. Football's gonna have a chance. We gotta do this. It's too dangerous. Let me ask you guys something. Do you guys want everything to get back to normal around here? Yeah! yeah! No more fear? Yeah! Then we have to do this. We gotta go do it now. If we're gonna do it, let's go get it over with. You girls will be safe. Yeah, Grussell's on his way over. Everything will be okay. Well, we're not worried about us. We're worried about you guys. Don't worry about it. I got a plan. Let's get going. All right, we're gonna do this. Get it over with. Gotcha, homie. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. Okay, so here we are. What's the plan? Ah. Bullshit. What really happened here? I want to know. He's telling you straight, Sheriff. That's what really happened. Who all's inside? It's John Bowling, Dago Joe, the rest of his goons. The thing looking so high. I better go in and take a look. What really happened, Blue Balls? Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's good to see you, Blue Balls. I was really worried about you. 
Jake, go inside. Call an ambulance. Jake's already inside. JD, go inside. Call an ambulance. Looks like they're going to really need one. Looks like I'm going to have to thank you boys for saving blue balls. Get about it. Blue balls is our pound too. This doesn't change anything, Tony. I'm still going to get you for selling that root beer. Uh -huh. No tonight, you know. <laughs> Not even on your best day, Sheriff. Life alert. I fallen. I can't get up.
out tonight to break some things. We dine on lemonade and pigeon's wings. We'll set your shoes on fire and then your hair. We're kind of ugly, but we don't. 